Yes, yes, yes. Fraternal greeting. Salam to Tainayist Aling. Right here, here, here. And Shalom Chabarim. Shalom Rastafari Chabarim. And greetings to all others here. This is a, a vlog and a subject matter that we had reasoned on, but we didn't do a vlog to it. So here, let's just do a little vlog. A little vlog to this right here. Here, this um, is a newspaper article, I think from a Chicago newspaper. Right back in the 50s when Nagusa Neges, Katamawi Haile Selassie came and visited the USA, right? And many, many black or Negro, um, we could say, neighborhoods, events, and peoples who sought to have an audience with the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah, root of David, with Katamawi Haile Selassie. So here this article says, Emperor Selassie links Negro with Africans throughout the world. So this article here, Negusa Neges, Selassie, Kerma Wihad Selassie, Hadosh Baruch Hu Baruch Hashem, yes, links, links, the key word is links, links Negro with Africans throughout the world. Now this whole subject matter of Negroes, especially amongst some of the latter day, post 1970, 1970 AD, the 70 AD, 1970 AD Israelites in different camps, you know, about the Ethiopians, uh, not Negroes because of the Zondervan um, concordance, questionable concordance, where we have so many other more ancient, consistent references since they've been researching these subject matters that already made that Negro, right, connection, right, with Ethiopia in particular with the Israelites, with the Israelites of Ethiopia connection. And we say the Israelites, we're saying those who, who rep, right, this Davidic dynasty. Not all Ethiopians rep the Davidic dynasty, right, or the Solomonic lineage, but those who do and have for over, for over 3,000 years. We count something in the order of maybe 36, 3,600, 35, 3,600 years. But here, we're zooming in on this, and we're going to call this that Negroes are linked with Africans, but not Africans. We are linked with Africans, right? So he, he here acknowledging our unique lineage, right? So this all connects with Yehuda, with Judah, right? With Judah at home, we could say in that promised land region, right, east of the river now, from the two rivers, as we have in that Abrahamic, that promise between the river Euphrates and the river of Egypt, which is the same as the river of Ethiopia. And we notice the Israelites and to heal up, you know, Shalom, you know, Aleichem to our Israelite brothers all throughout the world, but especially in these particular regions of the promised land, according to the Abrahamic prophecy. Right? But not to get all into that right here, let's make the point. The point is, Emperor Selassie links Negroes with Africans throughout the world. So being linked with someone means that you're linked to them. And the question is, well, how are you linked to them, but that you are not them? Now, this is not a, a polemic on, like, we're not African, so forth and so on. But it's ways to peep the game. Right, this game that has gone on in, in so-called pseudo-black consciousness circles as of late, right? This latter day, like latter day, so-called black consciousness, you know, as well as Israelite, you know, Israelites post 70 A.D. Because they're relying on that zone van. We had touched on that some time ago on another channel. May have to find that particular video, that vlog. I think we still had other. Um, other follow-up videos on that concerning the Zondervan. So don't bring no Zondervan dictionary. You bring Zondervan, we'll bring Webster's, old Webster's, and other documents that point to the Shemitic links of Ethiopia, especially of the Davidic Solomonic lineage, those Shemites of Ethiopia that have in common, right, the Davidic dynasty, as well as that Solomonic lineage connected with the King Solomon and the Queen of the South, right? History and the narrative we have in the scriptures as well as the Kibbutz and the guests, right? So right there, that 12,000 that accompanied, 
right? Those 12,000 Israelites, right? Firstborn sons that accompanied Menelik into Ethiopia. And we have the proof of the culture. We have the proof of the history, the proof of the manuscripts, the proof of the fact, the proof of the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. Right? King of Kings of Ethiopia, Siyume Xiavia, right? The elect of the sustainer of God, if you please. So here, his imperial majesty is linking the Negro with Africans. So being linked with Africans, the Negro being linked with Africans, generally speaking, means that there are links with Africans. But that does not mean that Negroes per se are Africans or Africans per se are Negroes because we can't lose sight of our heritage and who we are. And this is why we have to go into the pre Zondervan concordances, right? And really question where does Zondervan? Some things Zondervan has that are right, but some things we see is glaringly wrong because it's trying to change the whole narrative, right, of the prophecy as well as our history that those Solomonic, Davidic, we could say the Hebrew establishment that was established in Ethiopia is real, right? Some try to late date it, right? You try to late date it, try to say that it happened like later on, but we can point to its ancient roots, right? Its ancient roots. And linguistically is one key area to get into the linguistics, but here let's first address his Imperial Majesty right here, linking Negro, the Negro, right, with Africans throughout the world. Now, need we go into some of the background on the word Negro? Need we get into the background on the word Negro? All right, could a Negro, we even have one name, um, is it Simon? It was called Niger, Nigger, Niger in the Bible. Simon and Niger, right? Or in another pronunciation, Nigger. But that goes back to the, the Latin, right? The Latin reference right that's a latin reference and we know that many people would describe because of certain characteristics they also sometimes would describe because of you know outer characteristics so it's interesting to look at nigger or niger right and then we can even expand that to nigeria interesting that they have this place called nigeria and this negro niger nigeria connection with the bible right and also the events of 70 a.d right 70 a.d why we mention 70 a.d because negro and 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 niger or nigger right nigger like 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 what's his name in the scripts let's see if we just bring this up right here because it's important for us to do this it's important for us to do this while we are while we are here on this right here let's just take this out right here and let's put this in the search let's go n-i-g-e-r you might have to change up something let's change it from the aleppo to the kjv since we're looking up english boom right here right yeah shimon shimon was that was called that was called niger he was called what he was called niger niger nigger and he's called nigger black he was called black mm. Was he called black because perhaps he was very dark-skinned? He was a dark-skinned brother? Because we know as black people, we have different shades, different complexions, everything from Cafe Olay, right, to the so-called blue-black and the reddish-browns in between, right? Was that one of the reason, reasons? Here, we have Latin origin, right? This is of Latin origin right here, right? They say Latin origin, black, Niger, right? But interesting how this word Niger right and nigger right is all connected and he was said to be a christian no doubt a faithful in hamushiach yeshua hanotri right so here 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 that's just the link right there with the niger right the niger connection so here emperor Haile Selassie links okay let's go over here okay that was malaku bayan right very important man that was sent to i and i people so here let's go through this article it's not wasn't a super clear say, but I could read it just so we can get an idea of how is it that Emperor Negus Selassie, is linking the Negro. So the Negro was speaking about those in the Americas, 
chiefly in the Americas, this North Country, but of course with the Americas and the Caribbean, linking us with Africans throughout the world. Now, at the, at the last of this article down here, and this is from the Chicago Defender, June 1954, Right, the last paragraph which says the Emperor's speech before the church gathering refuted Nagusa Nagas, the King of Kings speech before the church gathering refuted as he did in Washington and New York rumors that he and his people did not want to be identified with American Negroes. So he had to refute this is like the third time, according to this Chicago Defender, June 1954 article, that the King of Kings, Nagusa Nagas of Ethiopia, had to refute right, this rumor and the rumors that he, the conquering line of the tribe of Jew, the root of David, that he and his people, right, because they generally the Ethiopians more specifically, that Israelitish Solomonic Davidic lineage right connected of course with the ark of the covenant as well negusin against his speech right it refuted as he did in washington and new york rumors that he and his people is over here in the corner it's kind of blurry his people did not want to be identified with american negroes see now that was at the end of the article but since we read through this before it helps us to make the presentation that we're making here that Negroes may be linked with Africans but are not Africans generally speaking because even this term Africans did not exist even during the time of the transatlantic slave trade it came into effect more towards like the three-quarter towards the end mark right of that time Right? Because we even know that the ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, was called the Ethiopian, right? The Ethiopian or Ethiopicus Ocean. Now that's interesting since Ethiopia is actually, at least today, it's on the, we could say, the right side, the eastern side of the continent that today is called Africa. But old maps point to that as Ethiopia, right? Point to as Ethiopia. So here, 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 Emperor Haile Selassie extended his whirlwind tour of Chicago Tuesday when he made an unscheduled stop at the South Park Baptist Church and made perhaps the most significant speech of his tour here. Uh, now you hear those words right there, the most what? Significant speech of his tour here. The Emperor, or in the Amharic Negus Negus, the King of Kings, majestically poised on the rostrum of the church told some 3,000 persons that if the United States had been able to assume its outstanding position as leader in the world today, it has been due in no small part to your profound religious faith and ideals. That's interesting. He's speaking to a black church, or they might have said in those days, like a Negro church, right? And he's saying that if the United States has been able to assume its outstanding position as leader in the world today, he's saying to black people, to Negro people, you are the real leaders in the world because of your religious faith and your ideals, right? Now, before ones don't think that the so called black church back in the days is the same as the black church today. You know, a lot of things ain't what it used to be. Let's just point that out right there and just make that very clear, right? When we see what has happened, because a lot of ones, a lot of the babies today, they see what's going on in the black church and they think it was always going on like that. And they see these goofy movies that sometimes misrepresent our story and history and they believe the lie. Right? So that profound spiritual faith, religious faith, and ideals. Because remember, this is during the time back in the 50s, 1954. This is during the time when there were, um, what we say, where there were families, like black man, black woman, black child, and children. When black people had communities. Yes, they were fighting against this, um, you know, um, you say the, 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 the racism, right? So-called pseudo-white supremacy of the, of, the, of the time. 
because of the advances that black people were making in those days and time, they saw how black people were coming up, so they wanted to distract us with all this racial, you know, racial so-called discrimination, racial rhetoric, everything was racial. They wanted to kind of change the narrative, right, and get us all caught up. And in a sense, they did get us all caught up, right, and then get all into, you know, integration and affirmative action and, and welfare, the welfare state. And then after that, you see what happens to the families, to the black families, to the community, and the, the, the village no longer raises the child, the children, because, you know, the parents of the children no longer listen to the village because there's no village no more. All right, so we have to put things into context of the time. So this is a historical article from 1954. 1954, right, is different than 1994, than 2004, 2014, right, or, or even what we have today. So let's just go on right here. He says, the high station which the United States has attained has also been due to the devoted labors of every American citizen and not the least of the credit for these achievements is due to the numerous groups of American citizens who have made their home on the great African continent which Ethiopia is proud to be a part. All right? So now he's also linking here black people, the so-called Negro, Right, to our past history on that continent that nowadays is called Africa. This is important. A lot of these other Hebrew Israelites, you know, they will go all ham, they go all ham, all ham, and this will be Shem. Recalling his 1936 warning, right? Recalling his 1936 warning to the League of Nations, the League of Gentiles. Mm -hmm. The League of Nations. Right? It's all part of that biblical prophecy, as well as the United Nations. We find it in Zephaniah, right? Zephaniah chapter 3, chapter 3, right? I think you begin off at verse 9. The determination of Jehovah was to gather all nations. So we have the League of Nations, the League of the Heathen, the Gentiles, the Goyi. When Italy was invading his country, Selassie, Negus Negus said that in those, quote, difficult hours in our fight for independence, we were not standing alone because peoples of African origin throughout the world were with us in spirit through their moral and spiritual support. All right, now, African origins, do we as so-called Negroes or Hebrews and or rather Israelites and Judahites, do we have African origins? I mean, in the context of yes, if we look at the trans-Ethiopic ocean slave trade, and that's therefore trans-Ethiopic ocean. It wasn't called the Atlantic Ocean. The continent was referred to as Ethiopia. You see, they changed all these things as black people started to get more and more awareness, could read, could write, could research through their studies. They started to change a lot of these books and reference materials. So when we look at the reference materials that the white man gave to himself and taught to his children, right, from back in the days, and then look at these, the, these, these pseudo concordances like the Zonavan Bible Concordance, for example, Right? How it tries to disconnect Ethiopia's Shemitic links, right? the Israelites of Ethiopia links. Because basically what we have in historical Ethiopia is a group of Afro-Asiatics or Afro-Shemitics, Afro-Semitics, right? with the claim of a connection to the children of Israel establishing we could say the once ruling civilization for over 3,000 years, right? But the people that they ruled over were various different people. Some were Hamitic, Cushitic, other tribes. Some of the people they mixed into also were Hamitic, Cushitic, just like the Israelites did in Egypt. This is why Hebrew, the language, or Yehudi more correctly, but Hebrew, the language, is Afro-Semitic, right? But let's go on. His Majesty Negus Neges, Gurmawi Negus Neges says, 
John Hoy says, it is only natural, therefore, he continued, that we Africans should follow the deepest interests, with deepest interest the inspiring achievements and contributions of the peoples of African origin in the United States. And you have to recognize that in the 50s, black people were beginning to explore, well, how do we get here? You know, where are we from? Like we're looking at ourselves being in this seemingly strange, but not so strange, but still this strange land, right? The 400 year prophecy hanging over the people's head. And they're seeing this great light, right? Like lightning shining from the east to the west, the coming of the conquering line of the tribe of Judah, right? And also other advancements that black people were making in those days. He goes on to say, by your actions, your devotions and your sacrifices, you are justifying throughout the world the advancement of the cause of racial and social equality and the right of all peoples to freedom, independence, and self-expression. So you have to look at things in the, in the context, you know, the context of who is being spoken to and what is being said here. All right, this is Dr. Malako Emanuel Bayan right there. We just want to zoom in on the bottom right here. So South Park Baptist Church has a membership of, I think that's 875, but more than 3,000 persons had jammed the church. So this church, South Park Baptist Church in Chicago, they say have a membership, as clear as we can read this here, of 800 and it looks like 75, 875. But more than 3,000 persons had jammed the church, another we're jamming, we're jamming in the name of the Lord to see Karamawi Hala Selassie. And street 45 minutes before, so they jammed the church and the street 45 minutes before the emperor Nagusa Nagas, the king of kings, and his party arrived. Only several hours before the parents, he, he notified security agents and his chief of protocol and Dalakucho McConan that he was going to um, extend his tour and visit the church. He was scheduled to arrive at the church at, I think it says 5 p.m. One hour earlier, he had left the United States works, it says works in South Chicago, went back to the Drake Hotel for a short rest and was then at the church at the designated time. So his majesty here was on time, right? As the emperor, Nagusa Nagas, as John Hoy approached the church, the student, the student band of Wendell Phillips High School was playing, it's, it's a star spangled banner. Uh, Miss Virginia Lewis, principal of the school, welcomes the emperor, the king of kings on behalf of Southside School. Southside Schools. O.F. Douglas, prominent Baptist layman and sponsor of the Religious Radio's Announcers Gill, um, headed, was headed to committee. What was that? Headed something. Can't read that so clear right there. To committee arranging. It's saying headed like the committee arranging the Emperor's visit to Southside. Cooperating with Douglas was Winston Evans, secretary of the Ethiopian World Federation Corporate. You see that right there? All right, this is why I and I is proud to be a member right, with the, the worldwide membership right, and a duly elected officer, the Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated right there. All right? General Richard, now why don't black people know about that organization? All right? That organization right there. That's that that's prophecy in, in, in Daniel, the stone that's cut out of the mountain without human hands, you know what I mean? Like the cornerstone of the kingdom. General Richard Jones, right, but says that the kingdom suffered violence and the violent the you know, enter in by force. So ones have to really know what's theirs, right? Get up, stand up and join the 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 real membership. Right. Check out the Ethiopian World Federation, the membership position paper and ethos, brothers and sisters. Might put a link in the description right here now that this has come up. But let's go on right here. General Richard Jones of South Center Department Store extended a welcome. Right, in behalf of the on behalf of the area. 
businessman and Reverend E. Williams, who was later awarded the Star of Ethiopia Medal, presented the conquering Lion of Judah. The emperor, who had said that he was, quote, deeply moved, end quote, by the church gathering, possessed one of his rare smiles as he left the church, shaking hands with enthusiastic onlookers as he passed them on the way to his waiting, they have $35,000 bulletproof limousine. Well, that's still how you have to move, you know, some of the king of kings of Ethiopia. In fact, David and Solomon were great armorers. Take note, take note, Chavarim. Dawid and Shlomo were great armorers. Negus Neges, the king of kings speech, before the church gathering refuted, as he did in Washington and New York, rumors. So these rumors, and, and it's a shame that you have some of these later day, latter day Israelites still regurgitating right, the, 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 the vomit of rumors right, that have already been refuted right, and proven false. So the King of Kings speech before the church gathering refuted as he did in Washington and New York. So here he's in Chicago. So in Washington, in New York, in Chicago, the King of Kings had to refute rumors. And what were these rumors? That he and his people did not want to be identified with American Negroes. So here, 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 in this right here, um, looking at what says full dress treatment was the order of the day. It says for Emperor Haile Selassie during his visit in Chicago, here little ruler, they say here little ruler stands surrounded by police captain and detail of officers. Um, all, it says all drawers, drawers up, something like that to full stature, to full stat, to full salute, to full salute in honor of his majesty. And, okay, so the police captain, detail of officers, will all draw us up to full salute, right? To full salute in honor of his majesty, right? Because even the devil, as they say, have to honor God. I mean, that's just the fact of the matter. That's just the fact of the matter. Right? And no return salute, but you got to salute the King of Kings. So here, the King of Kings, Kadamawi Halaslasi, links the Negro with Africans. Now, he said more on these links. There's more. But this right here was interesting because we've seen this before. Right? And this also refutes right, many of the rumors that persist to this day that either say that, you know, the... Solomonic, the Davidic Ethiopians of Ethiopia, right? We say those once ruling Ethiopians, you know, the Ark of the Covenant, that 3,600 year history, King Solomon, Queen of Sheba, all that lineage, the black Jews of Africa, at least of Ethiopia, the particular black Jews of Ethiopia, because there's other areas, especially East Africa, as well as in West Africa, but, you know, some of the concentration of the communities are in the East. Right, which is all part of the promised land. So we're speaking to this right here to show that when you come across like the Zonavan, be very suspicious of the Zonavan dictionary. That's, I mean, concordance. That's one concordance they always like to point to, right? But that was made specifically. We have to say for a lot of the knuckleheads, a lot of that was made specifically. Because, you know, when we are referencing a, a dictionary today, dictionary that just was published nowadays, right? You know, in this in this millennia, right? And then we see that it contradicts so sharply with older dictionaries that really give you more facts and evidence. We pointed out, we had it already drawn up, we would bring it up here, but definitely got to find that video and reshare the video on the Webster's Dictionary, right? Pointing to both the Negro and the Shemitic connection with Ethiopia. Right? Not all Ethiopians, we can say, are Shemitic or Semitic peoples. Check. Right? But the ones that are connected with this prophecy, right? this particular prophecy, are black people. And they are black people like us who do have an Afro-Semitic connection. Right? So that's one of the main connections that His Majesty is making between us, the Negroes, so-called Negroes over here, Judah, 
right, the tribe of Judah here in this north country and throughout the Caribbean, right, with the lion of the tribe of Judah and our Israelite connections on the continent as well. And there's more points of reference and other interviews and other, we say, speeches and word sound, right, that brings out the power of that statement. But linking the Negro with Africans by even linking the Negro with Africans, also what is brought out is that the Negro and the African is not synonymous. You know what I'm saying? See, if we was on the continent, if we was on the continent and we had our own nation, our own country, you could perhaps say that. And the only country that we can say we had, so to speak, was Imperial Ethiopia. The Imperial Ethiopia, that 3,000, 3,600 year old lineage, right, of the conquering line of the tribe of Judah, of the 12,000, right, that accompanied the son of King Solomon of Jerusalem and the queen of the south, the queen of Sheba, Negis Makeda. That's our links, that's our roots, that's half of the story that you're not being told because one's not doing their due research, the real research. And this article here is an important article because it points out that yes, we have links with Africans and Africans is generally speaking. I mean, the Africans will say we're Africans when speaking to other people who are not Africans, like to say black people on the continent of Africa, they use the term Africans, but when you get onto the continent of Africa, ones who refer to themselves by their particular, you know, whether tribe or nation, by their nation, their nationality, their culture, right, their particular heritage, and there's many different heritages, right, amongst Africans. Among so-called Africans, we have African so-called, you know, so-called Africans, and we're using that term. We, we, we don't prefer that term, but we recognize it is the modern term, but it's a later-day terminology, right? We can tell that when we look at the maps, right? So on the continent that's called today Africa, we have African Jews, and African Gentile. When I say African Jews, I'm talking about Judahites, I'm talking about Israelites, right? On the continent, and we have Africans of other Goyim, of other nations, of other nationalities that do not have any heritage, cultural links, right? With the scriptures, with the Bible, with the children of Israel, with the tribe of Judah, as we do. Right? So even the Ethiopian World Federation incorporated that particular link right there was a very important link. And we will put, you know, one of the main link sites as well for ones and ones to get in touch. Going to definitely seek to put that in the description. Just remind me, brothers and sisters, might do a couple of other vlogs and vids right here, here, here. But just to share this one right here. The Negro is linked with Africans. Yes, we are linked with Africans, but we are also distinct we also distinct from Africans in the general way. If we were on the continent with our own nation, then we could say representing with other black peoples on the continent, yes, we're Africans in that sense, but we're unique people, the once lost, now found sheep of the house of Israel, right? Of the Bait Yisrael of the Beta Israel. Yes, I, Rastafari.